This is Ifi African Fashion, Mrs. Ifi Mokoye. Today I'm so excited to see you once again on this great quick video that I'm going to make today. Today I'm making an A-line, A-line straight dress. It's a very simple one. It's an A-line straight dress. It will have a pocket on the side, then it will have like a, a big sleeves on the corner. Please, if you are watching us for the first time, please subscribe and click the bell on the side of your subscription. Yes, so with that bell, you will get notification. Okay, so now, we want to do the, the shoulder. So we are starting from here. So place our tape on the shoulder. Yeah, according to our measurement, the shoulder is 17. So we we'll divide it into two. The answer will be eight and a half. So when I'm gonna just cut on eight and a half, we'll put extra two inch. Yes, because we still need to stitch it, we still need to set it, we still need to get the upper shoulder. So put those alone. Yes. So the armpit for the lady is seven and a half. To get the armpit seven and a half, then to get the the waistline, more more or less it's like a A-line dress. So we still need the waist, even though we don't want it to stick on the body. We want it to be a bit free, but we still need to do the measurement of the waist. So this is a half length. So it's 16 and a half. From the shoulder, it's 16 and a half for the half length. To get the armpit, seven and a half. Uh, half length, 16 and a half. Then we have the length of the dress, which is 45. Yes, so this is just exactly 44 for the back. The length of this fabric is short, so I'm going to add something on the back to give it the right length. Yeah, so we've gotten that. So now from where we take, we'll now get the hips from here. We place our tape from the half length and get the hips. I usually do my hips for eight and a half. So we'll now got the base now, which is the shoulder, the bust, the half length, and the hips. And this is obviously the bottom. So from the waist, from the bust, we'll measure 48. So that's the wideness of the, the bust. So we divide that 48 into 4, the answer will be 12. So we take 12, then we put our allowance. I'm using allowance of 2.5. Remember, it's, it's going to be a straight, free, A-line shaped dress. So the waist is 44. Divide it into 4, the answer will be 11. Then we take there, then add our 2.5 inch allowance. Then we have the hips. Remember, it's gonna—it's not gonna be a tight dress. It's a free dress. So the hip is 50, 54. So we split it into four. The answer is 13 and a half. And tick and put your other ones. So now, what do we do? We connect all these sticks. This, yes, to give our shape of the dress. So I usually don't use Laura, but I'm mostly used to using hand. To tick. So the half length, this is the shoulder, so I want to cut the half length. So remember this one I added together with the allowance is, is 11. So 11 and this is 7 and a half. So what do we do? We take one and a half from this part. So we just curve it from there right to the shoulder so this is how we get the cover of the sleeves so we slope it with one inch so you can see our sketch we have highlighted it with our chalk so now i want to mark the neck so the neck is a round neck with a v the center so the wideness of the neck is not going to be too open so we're using three Obviously, basically, it's just three, but you always work with how wide the person wants it. We also speak as well. So, the length of the neck is eight and a half. So, I will not just take on eight and a half, I will take on eight. So, the roundness of the curve is, so it's three by three, then the length is, is eight. So, I'll curve in this part. Then I'll measure here, half inch. So it's more like a straight, a kind of straight V-neck kind of neck. Yeah, so this is the shape of the neck. This is the shoulders. This is the armpit. Then that's the shape of the A-line. 
starting from the boss to the bottom so now i'm gonna cut it out following the lines of the top it's very nice to iron in the mostly a fabric like this a nice african print like this so when you iron gives it a very nice unique look we're done with our sketch so i don't have to cut cut and cut let me cut the side first before i come back to the neck So now I'm going to cut the neck. Let's make sure your hand is straight when it comes to cutting of the neck. So that's it, that's it. So we have to place it for the back and cut the back as well. So we have we just finished cutting the, the front. So the back is obviously the same kind of cutting, the same balls, the same waist. Just the difference is that we will reserve the allowance of the allowance of of the zip for the back. Yes. So it's the same thing we did in the front, but just the allowance. And the allowance we reserve is one and a half inch. So we reserve the allowance for the for the back and the back obviously is slightly longer than the front with one and a half inch yeah the back is slightly longer than the front so this is the one and a half inch so from there you measure the the back neck which is the which is as three three by two inch the back neck is three by two inch so it's like two inches longer than the front that's the back and the allowance is one and a half inch so with what I sketch I just have to cut the neck or the back so the allowance has to be splitted so you just put your scissors inside and split it, split it into two So, so now this is the center of the back so you just notch it yes to know the center of the front and center of the back so we separate the front from the back so it's not going to have a lining as I say it's a very simple straight dress without lining so I want to cut the, I want to put a lace at the neck. So place the neck of the front. <laughs> so this is the lace. We are using the lace for, for the sleeves. So it's gonna be more like a kind of a sleeves tight here and it's gonna flow here but not so flow but we just want to put a plate there so the total length of the sleeves is 17 while the one that stops here on the elbow is 8 so i will take off 8 from 17. so i just do it straight away i, I place my tape i take away 8 from the tape then 17. So I'm not going to just do 17, I'm going to do it 18, then I'll tick. So that's how we get the length of the bottom. Just want to see if it's all equal. So 
so the answer is nine and a half I just want to check if all is one and nine and a half it's gonna be a guidance there yeah so I folded it into two so obviously it's one two three four so which is the total number of the two number of sleeves is for the both sleeves so I just folded it into two to give us four which is enough for the both sleeves then I don't want it to be too full so the width is gonna be 15 so it's nine and a half by 15 so I have to cut it out I want to cut that and make sure the design is standing you can see the roses must face up so once you are doing this you must make sure so that you don't have problems along the line so check so this is gonna be the up so I'll place it right on top like this I think this one is enough for On one side, and just have to cut. Make sure you don't cut the scalloping at the top of the lace. Because the lace, the border of the lace, will add to the beauty of the dress itself. I just want to straighten it. Make sure I have a straight cut line. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the other sleeves. So this is the sleeve for the bottom one, the flare one. So the lining on top of it. Yeah, so you see we are done with this. This is the one that will be at the bottom. So it's ready, and this is the proper arm itself. So the one I said is gonna stop on the elbow, which length is it. So, so being eight, I can't just do it eight. So I have to do it nine and a half for the same allowances. So the flowers are well positioned. So we don't need to struggle which, which one is the head and which one is the tail. Yes, yeah, so we just need to measure the length, which is nine and a half. So the width, according to the measurement, is nine. So we put our allowance of two and a half. Then the bottom part is 15. We put our allowance of two. So from here, we'll measure three and, three and a half inch. So this is the length of it, the sleeves. So from here, we'll measure three and a half. Then we'll curve it from here to that three and a half. That's how we get the current curve, the armpit curve of the sleeve. In some cases, we'll do it four, basically four or three and a half. From this part so you curve it from the top to where you take your chalk and then three and a half and this is the width of the sleeves so you just put your scissors and cut it off from here here and here So we'll place it on top of the other one. We just want to make sure the both fabrics are equal so that we will not cut one and leave one behind. Yes, so you can see they are all equal. So we just cut. Yeah, so we are done with the cutting. Yes, you can see this is a beautiful pocket. This is the one we're going to put on the neck. On the front of our a-line dress this is the same the one for the facing to turn the neck around this is the body of the front the a-line this is our sleeves yes this is our sleeve the one that will be at the more like a popular peplum at the bottom of the sleeves this is the main body of the sleeve with a beautiful nice lace so so beautiful and it's so much complementing the african fabric they are using to design it 
this is the back this is the facing to turn the back this is the back itself so it's ready to undergo the sewing process and this is the leftover fabric so we use six meters so this is the leftover and we'll check it and see what is left from the airline but what i'm interested in is let's make this a beautiful airline and see how it comes out to be thank you yeah in continuation of this uh, great work yes so one of So this is the second phase of our airline straight gun so if you are joining us for the first time please subscribe to our channel yes don't forget to click the button on the side to get notifications yes. on the description we put our website there to get a detailed explanation of what we just did on this video please go to the website on www.ifisafricanfashion.com you can also follow us on other platforms facebook instagram twitter yes please don't forget to put your comment as well so we want to continue the second phase of this cutting process of making an a-line gun so this is the gun itself remember i said we don't have a lining and we just need to do the side of the fabric is a bit short we just put this fabric this cut we just join it on the side and then this is for the shoulder so once we do this we must always join with half inch we have to lock it nicely your five stitch is good and another stitch yes. so that is that so once you do that you do the same thing on the other side just make sure you put it on the front of the fabric yes. if the material is has the same length as on the length is enough for what you want to do with it joining that little piece you can see it so i want to do the facing i want to turn the neck at the back of our dress so i put it this is it so i put it at the front of it so it's front against the front then i stitch it half inch you must make sure it's equal This notch is to enable it to relax nicely when you are doing the top stitching. So we push it on the other side. So top stitching is on the side of the facing, not on the main fabric. So the essence of this top stitching is to enable the neck to relax nicely. Even without ironing, it will just fall nicely on the spoon. See. So that is the one part of our neck. Yeah, so we're gonna repeat the same process on the other side of the neck. Okay, now we've done the butt neck. We have turned the butt neck. So now I want to place to stitch the allowance of the zip. So I always put the zip at the end of the dress. So but now if I don't stitch it, it's gonna affect my setting and it's gonna affect getting the actual measurement for all the parts of the body. So I just want to stitch, so this is the two, the front, once the two sides of the back. I want to stitch the allowance of this straight down, so it's one and a half inch, I don't need to measure it, I know it already. So what I'm going to take is, so it's more like a temporary stitching. I'm going to take it up here. Okay, now so we are done with the back, so we want to do the front. Remember, so we're gonna have a nice lace, just like 
to give it a nice design in front. Yes, so we just place it right on top. You saw when we did the ironing on top. So we just put the top. Just put it in the machine right around the leg. Using the machine to just put the lace on top of the fabric so that it will not give me problems when I'm turning the, the neck. So just iron it lightly, just stick it right on top of the fabric. making sure we are stitching it right on top of the we are using the same color of the lace to stitch it on top of the fabric and so while we were doing that we changed the thread of the machine the same thread to match with the same color of the lace yeah. so I will just take out the pins that I used to support it I pass the same on top so the end we cut our facing, so now I want to turn, turn the neck around. So we place it on the front, so and turn, turn it to the other side. And so if I want to mix it, it's better to follow the side of the fabric and let the facing side be at the bottom. So we just stitch from the main fabric itself. So you must make sure it's waist placed. It's all equal. So when that is done, we start stitching. I just want to make sure they are, they are equal, they are still on both of the same way. So from the left, turn it and you pull your presser foot, stick your needle on the fabric and turn it around to the other position. It's more like a 60 degree. Yes, putting your pencil to hold that thing. So you see we are on the right part. So make sure. So I'm just adjusting to make sure it's at the center. So I think that is fine. So it might be a half inch. So. So I just want to make sure what I did was on point. Yes, absolutely. So I just do the stitching, top stitching. Do the top stitching on both sides of the neck. Yeah, I'll explain why we need to do the top stitching. The notching, yeah. So after the notching, we do the top stitching. So I want to do the top stitching. We right? so always stitch inside of the of the facing. So if the lining is inside of the lining, so this one is not lining. We are using the facing. So put on this side. We pull out the machine because that is a very sharp corner. So you cannot stick that part. Turn it around. It must be 
I didn't balance, that is why I have to take it out and smudge it again for me to stitch through it. So this is the noble that sharp V to balance when we turn it around. Stop this one again, take it out. Make sure the edges came out nicely. So this is what it looks like after stitching. is to join the shoulder so to place the front and bit itself and join the shoulder so now we are joining the shoulder the front because we open up the facing at the back we fold the front nicely we make sure it's equal we put it in we use the facing at the back or the lining make sure you sit right at the edge of the neck yes so once that is done the edge of the neck you close it up with the back facing so you close it up with the back facing then you place it on the machine It nicely, then that's how you release it. So, for sometimes when you take off the hand without stitching it, it will not to leave the position in which you place it and making the back a bit longer than the front. So, it's a half inch joining. So, you can see, it says put equal, it means put equal. So that's the joint, the joint so we'll repeat the same process for the other side. So after joining the shoulder, this is what it actually looks like. There's the allowance of the sleeve, this is the shoulder, this is the neck, so it's ready to go for setting. So we'll have to set it then before we put it together. Okay, so this is the sleeves, so this is the, the, the the half length of the sleeve, the one that will have the gathers on it. So it's the lace and the fabric inside of the lining. So I want to place it here to turn it around. So I'm going to stitch it. I'm going to stitch it from here to bring this loop for it to look actually like this. So I'll stitch it from here. Yes, so I will not stitch it right at the top. The edges, the, the scalloping, I'll stitch it from here so that the the scalloping of this lace will come out and it will also add to the beauty of our sleeves so watch me as we stitch so the dress sometimes it happens it goes off it's normal you just have to do you put your thread in through the eyes of the needle That is done. So once that is done, we continue. Once 
it is done. Pull it around. From this stitch. So we want to put like a gather stitches on the sleeve after stitching this part. So I have turned it the, to a, a gather stitch, which is five. So now gather stitch. You don't have to do a lock stitch. You just stitch through. Only stitch on the front of the fabric. Pull the front, you pull the front to pop and pop and, and cut. So by the back, you start pulling it, it goes nicely. So you pull it from one side. And you start to come to the other side, you pick up the thread, so it must be on the back, on the other side. Not on the front. In our subsequent video, we have shown how to make the data stitch. Yes, one of our Peplon dress. So you can watch the video also and see how it started the data and how it ended. So this is it. Okay, so this is it. So this is how it's together. Okay, so it's the same thing we have done here on the other sleeves. So you can see we are done with the gathers of the both sleeves. Yes, this, is, this is the outcome, this is how it looks, this is the other sleeve, so this is the main sleeve itself. So now this is the pocket and this is the other sleeve as well. So we are going to the table to do the settings and come back and do the finishing. Okay, so quickly before we do our setting, I just want to put the bust that yes, the bust. It's like it's not gonna have a proper dart, but we need the bust that for it to sit perfectly on the body. So I took from the shoulder, remember the front is shorter than the back. The back is always longer than the front with at least one inch. So from the edges of the neck, I take up that one inch, I place it right at the point where the joining of the both front and back started from. So from there, so I'll count. 13 so 13 is more like the under the bust of the person yes so on the side it will be 10 so 10 13 then the width from the center is 5 so it's 13 the width is 5 and the side is 10 so we do the same thing on the other side take off one inch Measure 13, 10, and the side will be 10. So now, this is how we're going to position our, we call it both that. So make sure it's written out. So it will go like a, a kind of a V, a V line, a V shape. So the stopping point will be the point in which we take our five on. So, but it's not gonna stop directly. There's gonna stop two inches before that. So place it in the machine. So it's like one inch.
good something. So you must make sure it pops two inches before the panel. The, the center point there. So it must go like an arrow with a sharp edge. So that's the way it will last nicely. Okay, so our front is ready and it's ready to be set as well. We are going for the setting right away. Stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so now we want to do the setting. We've just, you can see, we've all ironed it, ironed the inside, open up all the sides. So it's ready to do the setting. So now I want to work on the actual measurement of the dress. So first of all, I want to do the measurement of the shoulder. So which is the shoulder I said earlier, 17. So I just put two quarter. So two quarter. So I did it, I split it into two. So which is eight and half. So instead of making it exactly eight and a half, I did eight and a half to quarter. So I'll apply, I'll do the same thing on the other side. But I always started my measurement from the center of the back. Yeah, you can see the line that I joined for the allowance of zip. So that's the thread at the center of the back. So I did my joining from that center. So I placed my tail from the center to the one side of the shoulder to get the one part of the shoulder, which I said is eight and a half. And I added my allowance as eight and a half to quarter so now we are done with that we want to do the armpit so the armpit seven and a half so we take so we just curve it so it don't curve inside too much because it's for a lady yes so this is the shoulder so this is the curve it stuff so we just have to cut it out So we just place it on the other side to make sure it's equal. So check the shoulder to see if it's same, same, same. So once that is done, make sure the side is equal. We're still going to cross check the measurement of the bust and the waist. So the shoulder is equal, the length. Yes, this one will double check it, iron it to see. Yes, so when that is done, then we start cutting. So we have cut the armpit. So the waist, uh, the bust, which I said is 48, we always put our allowance. You can see the chalk there, the waist is so it's just like a free a free dress. So from the measurement of the top, which is two inches, I'm gonna take it like that. To give our airline shape so you can see how it looks and the armpit. So once that is done, you can see our sleeves. So we're gonna fix this sleeve, it's well ironed. Yes. So this is the pocket on the side, and the sleeves also I set it also. It's absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna go to the machine now and stitch it on together. Yes, so we are back to the finishing of our beautiful long A-line dress. So now we want to join the shoulder, the side. We we'll finish with the setting. So before we do that, we know we just do the setting. So we have to relock this shoulder. Yes, because the one that was locked was stitched, was cut off during the setting process. So you can see, you see anything I just do now is already opening. So I need to stitch it nicely. Before we start joining the sides, so we must make sure it's nice and easy. Yes, in a way to be very comfortable for the owner. So, so we do the same thing on the other side. Because any little thing is already going up, so we make sure we stitch it nicely. Mm -hmm. So with that, we already have confidence in our dress that is not gonna go off so we turn it around on the other side so we wanna join the side so we do the same thing on this bust that we stitch it nicely to put a nice lock stitch on it to avoid it not to start 
done of once we are closing it up. So we we'll do the same thing on the other side. Oh, okay, this one still has the main lock stitch on it. So the next thing is just to join the side. So remember it's an O line. We have a pocket, so we want to make provision for our pocket now. So from the shoulder, the half length is 16 and a half, right? So from the half length, the tick three. So 16 and a half plus three, that's 19 and a half. So when we come on this side, it's sitting at 10 inch. So just instead of going through the normal process of measuring from the shoulder. We we'll just tick 10 from the armpit down so that we'll know that that's where our pocket will start from. Then the side as a free dress is gonna be two. And put our next stitch. So we put our next stitch on that thing. So we'll measure six and a half. So we take our six and a half. Then we lock it nicely again. So we lock it as well. So we repeat the same thing on the other side. So where we stopped, I stopped here here remember i said this is six and a half so this is for our pocket it's gonna have a nice open pocket i've showed a video of this pocket before but i want to do it again for those who could not watch those videos yes so i started i took off one inch so the joint stops here so i pull it a bit up to one inch yes so i place it on the machine i can even feel that lock stitch i can feel it with my arms with my fingers where yeah, it actually stops yeah. so I just put my machine my needle right there to make sure everything I'm not stitching against the other side of the fabric and I put my machine nicely and I'll stitch and I'll stop it on the other side as well and take it out from the machine Top stitch on the pocket side. Make sure I'm top stitching on the pocket side. Mm -hmm. Open the fabric. Mm -hmm. So you put the other side. Make sure they are both equal. Okay. This one is even easier because you can see where the stitch stop from which will continue your sewing from there yeah. so that is done so let me close the pocket before I do the top stitching from the other side so place switch right So this is the part, so we need to do our top stitching on the other side. We have done on one side, we need to do it again on the other side. I'm not doing it on the fabric, I'm doing it right on the side of the pocket. So 
analyze it as our pocket as the side. So when I repeat the same, uh, putting the pocket on the other side. So we have done with the pockets of the both side. You can see. Yes, yeah, so comfortable and very very beautiful. Yes. So, so we we'll put it aside. So now we want to do the sleeves. We put it aside. We want to do the sleeves. So we want to join the sleeve. So we want to connect the both sleeves together. So the wideness of the sleeves is 15. So we'll split the 15 into two is seven and a half. So we'll start sewing from there. So seven and a half. So since the other one is seven and a half, so we'll make sure this one is also seven and a half. So the joining of the slit, the body of the slit, and that of the design. We start on the same point. And the joining must not show on the side. Show at the elbow of the sleeves. The ankle. So lock it nicely. And that gather stitch you sew at the center of it. To make it much easier, quicker, and stressless for you. You can also do this on the comfort of your home. Yes, you can think it, you can do it. Yes, we're stitching the sleeves, we're connecting the both sleeves together. It's more like a peplum kind of sleeves. So I'm sewing in between the the gather lines. the arms look so now connect the sleeves to the main body of the connect the arms to the main body of our dress so make sure we start make sure we start at the notch the notch of the dress and the notch of the sleeve so that is the center so once we do that, we are not scared if our sleeve is on the center. We are not scared if it's gonna shift on the other side of the arms. No. So once we place it right on the center, we are good to go. So we start it from the center point, which is right at the center of the shoulder. Lock it nicely. We stitch it from one side. 
to the end of the other side. Just make sure your facing is in the center. So, so beautiful, easy and comfortable and it looks so elegant. You can wear it to any kind of occasion, you can wear it casually to the office and you officially stand out. You can wear it to a corporate meeting, you can wear it to a dinner, you can wear it to an occasion of all kinds. You look comfortable and still stand out. So that is that we are done with one side of our sleeves. Ooh, this is absolutely beautiful. So you can see how it looks. Yes, so this is one side of our sleeves. And this is how it looks. So we're gonna do the other side of the sleeve with the same process. With the sleeves, I want to put the zip now. So this is the zip. So I just took the length of the zip. Measuring from the top of the neck, so I'm using an invisible zip. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop right at the bottom. It's before, like two inches before. Yes, that's why I take this place. And I wanna put my lock stitch. Then I'll take off the previous stitch I did before, and I'll start stitching my zip. So as easy as that. We have done a video where we did. The stitching of invisible zip. That was on our African men's shirt. Yes, so I'm putting the invisible zip on a dress. It's not gonna be different. So for those who missed out on that video, you can watch this to make up for it. So I said I just put this temporary stitch, a stitch that I can take off. For me to put the zip so it will make the zip easier because there's already a line. Yeah, it's very easy to fix the zip because the line I use is stitching them there. This the other one is already there. Yeah, so I'm not gonna struggle much to do that. So just get it now. Then this is the zip, this is the front of the zip. Make sure your machine is ready to sew. To put on the zip. Place it to the front on this side and open the teeth of the zip nicely. So push the space, the allowance, half inches allowance on the other side, and put it right on the machine and start to stitch. Yes. Okay. You do it gradually. So you open up the teeth of the zip very well and press it down nicely with your fingers. Open it nicely. And stitch it with your fingers. You must never stitch the zip, leaving it closed. That is the case of a normal zip, but this invisible zip, you must keep it closed when you are fixing it. Sure, it's on the same line.
we are almost almost this is just the last part before we do the ironing so I just want to fold the edges nicely just to hem the bottom of the dress Outcome of our lovely A line dress. You can see this is the back. So, so beautiful. Woo! This is so, so nice. You can see this is the front. Yes. Mm, this is absolutely lovely. You can see the neck. You can see the sleeves. Wow. This is so nice. Three quarter. It's very casual. You can use it to go to any kind of function and with this look with this stand out so so beautiful this is so so beautiful yes thank you for the video thank you for your time thank you for watching us wow it's absolutely a very very amazing job i'm so impressed please if you like our video subscribe to our channel follow us in our page in instagram facebook and twitter yes like our our videos give us a thumbs up if you're so impressed and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you and stay blessed bye